You are watching TFI. Greetings, salutations, welcome to TFI. Apologies for the admittedly, ridiculously, unnecessarily, unreasonably over the top clickbait title. But if I didn't do that, chances are you probably wouldn't have clicked it. It wouldn't have got pushed out to more people who need to see it. Uh, but it's not necessarily untrue. Uh, there is an, a vulnerability in one of Autodesk's applications, which chances are you do have installed, and the chances are it's not been updated. So the vulnerability will still be there on your system. Doesn't mean that you're going to get hacked. Doesn't mean that anyone wants to hack you, but nobody likes having a known vulnerability on their system. So if you've if you've watched this as a result of my clickbait title, then I'm kind of sorry, but not sorry. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, let's get into it. So this was brought up by one of the Autodesk expert elites over on the forums, has uh, pointed this out, a vulnerability not just in Autodesk software, but also in Trend Micro and Kaspersky, which ironically are security software packages themselves. Uh, which is just, that's just the way the world is at the moment. Uh, nobody's really 100% safe. Uh, but it was brought up and found in July. And then what happens is these these hackers, or the, the white hat hackers, I think they're called, were the ones that go out looking for vulnerabilities through hacking. They brought it to the attention of the software companies in July. They don't go public with it. They give the companies time to fix and patch their software before telling the public about it. So it was brought up in July and patches have been released for all of the programs. Uh, so the one that we're interested in is Autodesk. So it's a vulnerability in the Autodesk desktop application, which if you think, and I don't know what that is, then chances are you're vulnerable because it gets installed by default unless you explicitly say, do not put it on. And then if you never open it up, I don't think it actually ever updates itself because you've got to accept the, the end user license agreement before it'll actually start updating itself and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, all you've got to do is go to uh, start in Windows, type in Autodesk desktop application, and then you should see a program that looks a little something like this. Uh, it's widely despised by pretty much everybody, but it does a job. Not very well, but it does a job. Uh, if you click this little My Updates button on the left-hand side, you can you know stream and deliver service packs straight to your computer from the Autodesk servers rather than going to a website and downloading them and then opening them up and then running them. It'll just stream them direct. So if you haven't updated your Autodesk desktop app, you should see a new update in, newish update in here for the Autodesk desktop application. Click update on that or on all of them and then all of the updates for the desktop app anyway. And then that'll update it with the patch that fixes, fixes this vulnerability. But the, uh, the patch, I mean, you probably don't care. Uh, to be honest, I don't understand how these things work, but the vulnerability was discovered in the desktop app and it's related to Autodesk software from 2017 until the present day. Uh, a missing driver call by an accompanying library also permitted the loading of arbitrary drivers. In addition, there is no digital certificate validation, so unsigned drivers can be executed. So basically, Autodesk don't look for digital certificates when things are run through their desktop application, which is probably a reason for that. Uh, given you can run custom software through the desktop application, can you? I think, I, I don't know. It's either extremely lazy uh, and careless software design or there's a reason for it. Either way, it, in the past, I would have really hit the roof with Autodesk about this and shouted and bawled them. It's kind of pointless now though, because, well, for this anyway, every company is vulnerable. Apple have been hacked. Uh, Intel CPUs have vulnerabilities, as do AMDs. Sony's been hacked for the PlayStation Network. Microsoft gets everyone gets hacked. It's not something that's unique to Autodesk and something that they're above. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's not going to serve any purposes getting angry and annoyed about this. They've released the patch in good time, and it's fixed. It's addressed. So it's not it's not worth getting bent out of shape about this, even if you you know if you've got a beef with them. Uh, probably not going to be able to stop you, but it's just not it's not really worth it or justified in this case so uh, after an attack gains access to the computer uh, you might have limited privileges which can then limit access to certain files and data uh, the service provides him with the ability to operate as the nt authority system user account which is the most powerful user in windows so he can access almost every file and process which belongs to the user on the computer so if someone wants to hack you through the desktop app and they do they've got access to literally everything <laughs> Uh, but the vulnerability is reported to trend Kaspersky and Autodesk in July with each security flaw confirmed in the same month or in August and then all of the 
Uh, all, they've all released a security advisory, so here's the Autodesk one. So vulnerabilities in Autodesk uh, and design review products, blah, 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 blah. But this one here is the affected product Autodesk desktop application, uh, the impacted version. So if you've got this version, you are vulnerable. If you're at this version, you are okay, which I suspect you'll be able to find out in here by going to, uh, where's the about? Uh, so yeah, I'm on 7.0.21. So mitigated means obviously it's been the, the, the vulnerability has been mitigated and fixed. So um, that's it pretty much. Just thought I'd let you know about it just because these things tend to go unnoticed. Uh, and if you've got the desktop app, either uninstall it if you don't think you need it and you've never used it. If you've never used it, then you probably don't need it. Uh, or if you do have it, make sure that you open it up and then get that patched. That'll do it. That's all. Uh, again, apologies for the clickbait title, but if it made you aware of this because of it, then yeah, sorry, not sorry. All right, cheers. Doodles. <laughs>